Right then, slightly different video today. I'm at home. Just want to show you my uh, latest purchases. But first, uh, big shout out to a retro restore. I don't have anyone's found his channel. He's like I say, he's, um, he basically he does various things. Like I say, I'll, I'll start watching when he first started doing a bit of gardening. Um, but like I say, he shows you how to uh, fix things and spray things and take a look. Um, but he got me. Um, Obviously, watching his previous videos, thinking about a petrol lawnmower. Um, well, I've never been able to afford one, but he shows you how easy they are to fix and how cheap you can get them for. So let me just show you what I've got over here. Right. So what we've got here, we've got a uh, Briggs and Stratton 35 Classic. Uh, don't know the model. Like I say the base has been re-sprayed, and this one here is the Mountfield V35 with the. Uh, with a with a problem apparently uh, I've not tested this one yet um, I started on this one first because the guy said this one was really really bad at starting um, a real bugger uh, but apparently this one has an oil leak so I'm gonna find out about that in a minute so uh, I, sh I should have done the video of what I done really what I, what I did because like I saw on Martin's videos on the retro restore channel he's the, the majority of the problems are with the car and um, all I noticed was that the fuel was absolutely disgusting. Um, and obviously not being started for a year, so we cleaned the fuel tank out. Um, took the carb off, and as we pulled it out from underneath here, there's like a, a, like a little tube. And I noticed from Martin's videos, there should be two pieces that come out, a little retaining clip, and an O-ring seal. And it had no O-ring seal. Uh, as you can see, it's been variously tinkered with and various different bobs and bits and bobs so we knew someone had been tinkering with it before so uh, I've got a little pack of these um, although this isn't the correct fit it's a little bit oversized but we managed to get it in there um, get the retaining clip back into it clean the fuel cleaned out um, all the carburetor put it back on and uh, it fired up first time absolutely brilliant and i picked these two up for 40 pound this one's in really good condition uh but like a gentleman said he'd he'd been giving it free anyway uh from a neighbor who was moving and didn't want to take it with him uh, but apparently he had, had some work done on it and when he used it first time he noticed there was all leaking out from the um from the bottom I can't see any, uh, I don't want to go tipping this up and go sending oil everywhere, do I? But it looks pretty clean underneath. So uh, I'm going to fire it up in a minute. I'm going to put some fuel in it and fire it up and see what it does. With this one, uh, just listen to this. What we'll also order uh, is like Martin always says that you should change the, uh, the little diaphragm kit that sits on the bottom here. It's a little gasket in the diaphragm. So I'm going to get one of them order. Uh, probably get a spare one of them and get the correct O-ring. Um, and then uh, just source some bolts to, to fix it all up. So this is going to be my uh, allotment one. And uh, this one is going to be, hopefully, once I get it all running, for a, um, a little project that I'm starting. Because like I'm going to start doing um, um, gardening. Um, cutting people's grass. Yeah. So if you want your grass cut, give us a call. And <laughs> I should have want oil all over your grass, but we'll, we'll find out in a minute what's maybe wrong with this. Um, yeah, so let's, uh, let's put some fuel in it and give it a start up.
Fingers crossed. Let's get that cable out of the way. As I say, this is the um, first time tinkering with this one, so fingers crossed. Can't seem to find a uh, primer bowl. Perhaps you don't have one. So it looks like we've got um, I don't know if that's fresh or all or I'll have to take this guard off and have a look and wait for it to cool down. Um, I don't know. If you're watching this Martin, what do you think? What do you think? Has he been um, tipped over and small was gone on to him? Or have we got a problem? Anyway, works. So, uh, yeah. You see me grass has been cut while the petrol mask, so it's looking nice. And we're just um, doing the borders. And then it's the allotment for this afternoon so um i'll sign off here and uh i'll see you all later on see you later